What's up everyone, today we're going to be installing an NVMe drive inside my X58 base computer. This is going to be the part 2 to the first video, so if you haven't seen the first video, I'll put a link in the description. But, we're going to do things differently, because the way everyone else has done this is basically they installed a bootloader such as Duet, Clover, all those things. We're not going to do that. We're going to flash the BIOS and have native NVMe boot support on the X58 BIOS. And we don't even, we don't even need UF, UF, uh, UEFI to do it. So let's go ahead and turn the computer on and I'll show y'all how to get started. All right, so as you can see, this is the website where basically, or I guess the forums where these BIOS mods are. So if you scroll down here, you'll see all these BIOS files. Now, if you download this, you'll have an updated BIOS, but the problem with that is it doesn't have the NVMe drive that you're going to use. So here, there's some instructions right here. It tells you how to check your device ID, and I'll show you how to do this. Basically, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to reply to this thread, tell the creator right here, this is the creator, you're going to need to tell them which X58 motherboard you have and which SSD you have along with the hardware ID, which he has like a thumb or a GIF here that shows you how to check. Once you've done that and provided him the file, he will give you a new link with an updated version of the BIOS that has your specific NVMe. So for me, I provided one for the Super Record 2 and then the SLI 3, which both here say test OK because I tested them. So just keep that in mind. So let's go over how to check that and then we'll go from there. So one thing I forgot to mention is if you go down here, there's um, some device IDs. As you can see, he lists here the model and the device ID. So if you have one of these that are already listed here, you don't need to check. So definitely take a look to see if any of these SSDs are the ones you have because the device ID is here. However, if your SSD is not listed here, then let me show you all how to do that. Alright, so to check the hardware ID, you need to have the NVMe drive in a computer that supports NVMe natively. Then you need to go to the device manager of that computer. And then when you're, once you're in the device manager, you're going to look for the storage controllers. And then look for the NVMe controller. And then we're going to look for the hardware ID under the details tab. And then just change this to hardware ID. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch here, but the last one is the one that you need. This is the hardware ID that you need to tell the developer that you're going to use along with the model name and the manufacturer, of course. So once you have this written, go back to the forum, make a post, tell them what motherboard you have and everything, submit it, and then he'll make you a new file and we'll flash that file next. Next, once you have the file, so mine is this one, I recommend extracting it using 7-zip if you don't have it. Then there's a password, so the password is on the website. All right, so enter the password, and now we have a file here. And this is what you need to use. So you need to load DOS and do this. All right, next you wanna use Rufus. So in Rufus, you're gonna select your USB. And then here we're going to select uh, free DOS and then make sure it's MBR and click start. Yes, it's going to erase all my data. All right, so now we're going to take our USB. We're going to go here and we're going to copy these two files onto the USB. And that's it. So now we're going to boot from this USB and flash the BIOS. All right, so here's the bootable menu. All right, so USB. Bet you haven't seen this screen in a while. All right, so now we're gonna enter the commands. All right, next we're gonna type this in, press enter. So I'm gonna, there we go. So now it just sees the flash type. And then this says, do you want to save BIOS? We can do yes. And then it's programming. There we go. All right, flashing complete, so F1. All right, so to confirm that we are up to date, one thing you can do is use CPU-Z and click Mainboard. And as you can see, the date is for October 1st, 2022. So we are now pretty much up to date. So we can just insert our 
our NVMe drive and see if it recognizes it. All right, next we're gonna get our PCI Express to NVMe adapter. You don't need a fancy one like this. This is a switched version that can hold two. But we're gonna go ahead and insert it into our PCI Express slot. All right, so just to show you guys, it says there, 2002 NVMe SSD mod. So it can now boot from the SSD. All right, and just to show you guys the speed, I'm getting full speeds for read because of my adapter. And as you can see, we're running the BIOS here. So yeah, just go to the website, request your BIOS, and enjoy NVMe on the nice X58 platform here. In the next video, we're gonna upgrade this to the i7-980X and we have a bunch of GPUs there. So yeah, stay tuned, coming soon.